what we call India, Afghanistan, is been a place of networks, a place where pilgrims, traders, Sufis, yogis, all sorts of people, and of course some armies, have moved for and interacted. But the rich fabric of the past has been a fabric of networks and activities. In 16th century, trade and insurance. The bills of exchange from far parts of Bengal or Hyderabad were not only accepted in Kabul, they were accepted in Bukhara and all the way to Nizhni Novograd, into Baghdad. A lot of our past is being renewed. A stable Afghanistan will allow uplifting from poverty to prosperity, from disconnectivity to connectivity and shared understanding. This is what Afghanistan and India are practicing. This is where our common vision unites us. But the opposite need to understand also. God forbid, if the networks of violence take over, it would be robbing the region for a generation of connectivity in mutual prosperity and growth. And what is at stake for the world? Let's make no mistake. Over 100,000 international troops left. I had the honor of leading the security transition. Today, Afghans have demonstrated that we can defend ourselves, we die for our nation, and we are willing to fight for it. The fight is no longer that of the state. The war is no longer that of the international community. The Afghan people have now become the key stakeholders in this conflict. They are not fence-sitting, they are engaged, and they are actively articulating. 